Here's another quick and easy to use widget from the Corona SDK framework. And this is the slider widget. And again, I've got uh, a lot of the, the housekeeping type code already here in the sample. So let's just scroll down here and we're going to have a, a widget called slider. And we're going to have an object called obj. And then also a function called slider listener that we're going to fill in. And then instead of display, we've got the background uh, image here and a spot to create our slider widget. So let's say slider equals widget dot new slider. Open the table for the properties. Close it and start filling it in as usual. Left equals 50 and top equals 150 and width equals let's say 200 and just for the fun of it let's give that a shot I think that's enough to actually get it showing even if it won't actually be usable at this point there we go okay we've got a slider it handles all of this kind of stuff we don't have to do anything to make sure you know as we slide it down here the blue goes away and the white gets filled in we slide it down here the blue fills this in and, and the white goes away so all of this animation stuff and it stops at the end and it stops at this end and we don't have to worry about handling any of that that's what is so cool about the widget library now you notice when we first started this let me just do a refresh here it starts right here in the middle that is because the value the default value for the slider is 50. okay and so it goes anywhere from 1 to 100 and so we're going to do value equals 25. And by doing that, it'll start about 25% of the way across. There we go. So the value of this right now is set at 25. Now it's set at about 50, 75, and 100, and so on. So by changing the value uh, here when you set it up, you can specify, you can set the uh, original or the, the originating point of the slider. Maybe you're showing some kind of preferences and it's already been saved at something other than 0 or 100 and now this is how you set it with this value right here. There's also another thing you can do. You can say orientation equals vertical. Horizontal is the default. Vertical though we can set and if we set vertical then we need to set uh, the height equals 200. Now you can leave uh, width and height in here. It only grabs one of them. Uh, so if you've got orientation set to vertical, it'll grab the height. If you have horizontal set to, or if you have orientation set to horizontal, um, it will just grab the width. Otherwise, it just ignores the other one, which is kind of handy. So let's, let's take a look at this now. And there we go. We've got a vertical slider just like that. Now to grab the value of the slider itself, we can add a listener onto this. Listener equals slider listener, and that is the name of the function that I have up above here. So right up here, we can say local value equals event dot value. So the event record that is passed in has a property called value. And that is the value of that slider as it moves around. Let's go ahead and try that here. Let's just say print slider value. And open up the terminal here and see what happens. All right. As soon as I move this, we get the slider values up to 36, 77, all the way down to 0 all the way up to 100 and you can see that it actually uh, every time it moves you can actually grab the value and so the slider listener or the listener function is called whenever this is moved and just for the fun of it so that we can actually see something happening other than this animation here let's go ahead and add one more thing in here we have obj so obj equals display dot new rect And we're going to set this at 0, 0, 100, 100. And then set the thing into the center of the screen. And give it a little bit of color. All right, so now we have a rectangle that is 100 by 100. 
we are centering it on the screen and we're saying that it is red in color. Make sure we got that right. Okay, that's good. And we're going to hook it up to this slider and change the alpha depending on where this slider is. So first of all, let's go ahead and change value here in the slider widget to 100 so it's uh, clear up at the top. And then right down in here, let's say obj.alpha equals value. Now the value that we are getting is from from 0 to 100 and we need it from 0 to 1. So all we have to do there is just divide it by 100 and we'll get a value that we can work with for alpha. All right, let's give this a shot now and see how this works. Oh, there we go. That's cool. So so you can kind of see exactly how this works. And if we wanted to, we could change this to horizontal and it's going to work exactly the same way. It's just a horizontal slider bar and we can uh, pull the alpha all the way out of this. So there's just a, a simple example of how you can use the slider to change an object that's on the screen. For your app, maybe you're going to be uh, changing the volume or doing a, some other kind of preference, but it's that easy to make the slider work in Corona SDK.